Hello guys, Dan here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's uh, short video uh, I will try to explain you how to paint a Boeing soldier from uh, beyond Operation Kalstrom for Panoceani army. Uh, in this video I will show you uh, how to paint his base and uh, miniature itself. So sit back, relax and uh, let's do it. Uh, we will start first uh, painting the base uh, because you will have to fix the model on the base later and uh, there is a lot of dry brush so there is a risk of messing up uh, all the work later so we will paint the base first. I primed the base with the red one and then I painted all the metallic parts uh, on the base uh, with the lead belcher. For this electric cable I used the uh, Blood Angels Red and just painted it with. Uh, because uh, our base is not the centerpiece of our model, I will try uh, to paint it in like little dull colors and I will just slam on them and put the wash on top and then dry brush so I don't draw any attention from the model to the base, so I just wanna keep it simple. So on this pipe, uh, on the right hand side, I will just paint it black and yellow. So I will paint uh, ev every second spot uh, black and the other one uh, with the E and then yellow. Uh, the other cable I painted with the Dark Angels Green Contrast Paint. Uh, when painting areas like this you need to be really careful to not try to mix the colors because with the contrast they're all wet and taking a long time to dry so they can mix easily. And the last thing that we need to do on the base is to use Talaster Blue and paint the feet of the model uh, because uh, his feet are attached to the base and uh, not uh, to the model actually. After everything is dry properly, I will just apply a heavy wash uh, with the Noon Oil around the whole area of the base. Uh, so just be generous with it and then at the end uh, wait for the whole pooling to be uh, completed and then just uh, scoop all the excess uh, wash with, uh, with a clean brush. After the wash is completely dried, uh, for my case it took around like half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, I started uh, dry brushing the base with the uh, Screaming Skull. Uh, so just take your biggest dry brush and just uh, go around in uh, random directions and uh, random patterns and just try to dry brush the, the whole base. Uh, try not to skip any parts. And the last touch that we need to do on the base is just to use the Ultron Grey and paint uh, all the snow. Uh, in this case, if you make any mistakes, uh, it's not that bad because uh, we can put the, the real snow effect uh, on the top of it. Uh, so just go around and then paint uh, all the snow in this color and then your base is completed. You can attach the model uh, at this stage on it. Now we can start uh, painting our model. Uh, same as the base, uh, I primed the model with a red bone spray because I was planning to use a lot of contrast paints, so I wanted to have a bright uh, undercoat. Uh, first color I will use is uh, Black Templar Contrast and I will use this color to paint uh, his weapons. Uh, some pieces of his armor on the legs and all the under armor uh, that he have on his torso. Uh, I actually applied uh, this color in uh, two uh, very thick coats. So I used it straight from the bottle and after I applied the first coat I wait uh, for the color to dry and then I apply the second one. Uh, then for his armor uh, I used the Talaster Blue Contrast and I applied this color in one uh, very thick coat 
uh, on the rest of his armor. I tried to follow uh, the art from the official website uh, if you go on the Corvus Belly store, so the art that is uh, provided there uh, with this model. So I just tried to copy the uh, same, so I painted all the same parts uh, blue and I left uh, all the other parts uh, that I'm going to paint uh, white after. Uh, for his holster and the few uh, leg armors, I used the uh, Athermatic Blue, another contrast paint, and uh, I applied it in a one thick coat. But I have to say that this color is really transparent, so this step didn't achieve that much effect as I actually wanted. Uh, so later you, you, you will see during the video that I repainted this in a couple of different colors uh, But the end uh, the best result uh, was with this color So I just left it in the video so that you can use actually this color Uh, for everything else that's white, uh, we will use Apothecary White Contrast and uh, we will apply this uh, straight from the pot in one very thick coat. Uh, I just want to say here that uh, you need to be really careful uh, so this color don't go anywhere else except on the white parts uh, because uh, it's very thick and it look really grayish so if you go over the black it will have a really bad gray stains and if you go over the the blue it will just totally mess it up so try to be neat and uh, the end result should be something like this so this is end of this stage so you can pause here and see how i did this model uh, only thing that's left now is to paint these pistons that he have and the barrel of his uh, missile launcher so for that i used the balthazar gold uh, which is actually look more like a copper color, so it really suits this. And you can see here the, the model breakdown uh, from my temporary base, so I have to paint the, the base and transfer him to the base uh, so we can continue the paint job normally. use this moment to paint uh, all the LEDs that I want them to be red uh, with the Blood Angels red uh, because when I start highlighting I don't want to go uh, into the recesses that much with the red color because I will make a mess I know myself and uh, I used uh, as well a chance to paint the electric cables on the base uh, again uh, with the red color uh, now it's the time to start highlighting the model uh, I will use Fenerician Grey and I will start highlighting all the black parts. Uh, this I will do as an edge highlight. Uh, so I will try to put not that much paint on my brush and I will try mostly to use the side of my brush and try to make like 45 degrees to 90 degree angle uh, with the surfaces and try to pull a brush in uh, one direction so I can create the, the sharp lines. So go all around the whole area of the model and uh, highlight uh, every edge uh, that is black at the moment. So this will really pop the model and he will really look good after all these uh, highlights are completed. Uh, for the blue parts of the armor, uh, we'll start highlighting with the light sea blue. Uh, I will go with this color now and uh, try to repaint 90 to 95 percent of the previous blue color of the armor. But I will just leave all the recesses and all the shades and everything that was uh, lower than the surface that I'm painting. I will leave it in the previous color. Uh, so just try to be neat and uh, go carefully around and repaint all these areas. And uh, this color is like semi-transparent, so I had to apply this in uh, two very thin coats. Uh, 
uh, for the final highlight I will use a uh, sky blue and I will use this color only to edge highlight uh, all the edges on the blue armor. Uh, so I will carefully go around uh, and I will draw like very thin lines on uh, almost every sharp edge that I can see on the model. Guys, uh, I wanna just say uh, thank you for watching the video and if you have a chance, uh, please uh, subscribe uh, to the channel and leave a like uh, because it will help this channel grow and uh, more people will uh, hear about it. Uh, so, thank you one more time. Now it's time to paint uh, all the white uh, armor panels. I will use uh, Ultron Grey and I will go and repaint uh, in the same style as I did with the blue. Uh, just uh, this time uh, you will need two or in some parts maybe even three uh, very thin coats to, to cover the, the previous color and to have the good coverage because these colors are really transparent and uh, they're getting chalky and they're really troublesome to paint uh, but just try to add uh, as much water as you can into them and uh, go in a few uh, very thin coats and uh, wait for them to completely dry before you start applying uh, next coat uh, otherwise uh, your paint will start get chalky on you and you will start moving pigments around and you won't achieve anything actually After that part is done, uh, I will just use a white scar and I will edge highlight uh, all the sharp edges uh, of the white panels. I don't know, can you see that actually on the camera? Uh, but in the real life uh, there is like a quite significant uh, difference, so you will be able to, to see those highlights really nicely. And now the troublesome panels that I changed in my mind about the color of them like so many times. I at the end decided to paint them with a blue-green color. Uh, just to create a different shade of blue uh, from the rest of the armor panels. Uh, so just go around and uh, don't paint the recesses, leave, leave them in the shadows, leave them black. And ignore that... Uh, the ones that I painted are actually green before, yours uh, should be painted with uh, a thermatic blue. And to make the highlight color I mixed uh, the blue-green with the Ultron grey and uh, just uh, do, did the edge highlight uh, around them. So this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, just, just a nice touch to make a different shade uh, of his armor. The bulk of our job is almost done. Uh, now it's time to do and paint some details. So I will go back to the Balthazar Gold and uh, just go and repaint these pistons that he have on his legs and uh, the barrel on his uh, rocket launcher. And then I will use a Stormhost Silver uh, to draw just a little highlights. So just a couple of sharp uh, lines uh, at the top and on the sides just do the edge highlight and as well uh, on the back of his legs on the pistons. Just a very small highlight uh, at the top areas of those pistons. Don't 
those little LEDs on his arms, I used the mood green and I applied this in uh, three coats. Uh, for all his uh, red details, I used the Evil Sun Scarlet. Uh, so I used this to paint his eyes, the LEDs uh, on the, his chest, and then I started uh, painting all the little uh, details and all the lines. Uh, so for this, like I pick up one of my smallest brushes, I put a very little paint on it, and then I start uh, drawing the things. Uh, because on the art on the box uh, he had a number 59 uh, drawn here uh, so I just practiced this couple of times on, on the piece of paper on the side and then uh, I managed to, to draw it uh, actually the same this is like how my handwriting looks it's, it's really bad uh, but I think the end result is uh, quite decent And I just did uh, on his shoulders as well a few of these lines and I seen uh, that they have a transfers for the logos so I didn't bother to draw any logos on these shoulders I will just get the transfers and then uh, I will uh, transfer them to these uh, shoulder plates I just leave the space in the middle so I can do that later and uh, that's it uh, I will conclude this video uh, so I will stop here and I will call this model completed for now And guys, uh, if you're interested how I did the eyes uh, under his uh, metal plate on the base, I will include the link uh, in the description below so you can uh, try to copy it and do the same. And one more time I wanna say a big thank you for uh, watching the video and uh, please if you can uh, leave a like and subscribe the, to the channel, it will mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments, uh, what you want me to see painting next or uh, what's your favorite painting scheme or what you want to see next on the channel please leave it in the comment below and uh, I will try to do my best so this is all for now stay safe and take care bye